Hey folks, I got a couple pieces of news here for you that are a pretty big deal, so big I needed to deliver them directly to you. Uh, the first one being that Nintendo announced on Twitter today that Super Mario Maker 2 is heading to the Nintendo Switch on June 28th. Also, this announcement essentially confirms there will not be a Nintendo Direct this month. Of course, I think we knew that because tomorrow is really the last day they could do a Nintendo Direct and it's not yet announced. So... There you go. No Nintendo Direct. They're just going to do another Twitter flurry, which they did today because they threw a whole bunch of news out there. Uh, but we're just going to talk about that one. You know, really cool. Super Mario Maker 2, June 28th. They didn't release a new trailer or anything. They just literally shadow dropped a date for it on Twitter. I guess it's not really a shadow drop. They intentionally threw out a date for it that uh, is in the future. Uh, that means we will see Super Mario Maker 2 at E3. So that's an exciting thing as well. It means I'll probably get to go hands on with it and give you guys some impressions and all that before the game releases, which is great because Nintendo still doesn't send me review copies. So at least I'll have my own experience with it to at least give you an idea of how this game is different maybe from the last Mario Maker game. Now the other piece of news we have is actually about Starlink Battle for Atlas. For my money, one of the most underrated games of last year. And I think at this point, we should just call it Star Fox Battle for Atlas. Because, well, um, they're releasing Star Fox content that we have to pay for. In addition to a Crimson Moon update that is 100% for free for everyone who owns Starlink Battle for Atlas across all platforms. Now we know Starlink Battle for Atlas has performed under expectations according to Ubisoft, but the fact they're releasing paid DLC for Switch I think hints at something in the future, but first let's actually get into what they are releasing. So for starters, the Crimson Moon update that releases on April 30th along with the Star Fox content update is 100% free besides a certain selection of weapons. So what the Crimson Moon update will be for Starlink Battle for Atlas is you get to explore the Crimson Moon. Oh my gosh, right? Shocking. Uh, it also includes the Theater of Outlaw games that are there. That's kind of the big deal about this new place to explore. Uh, you get to compete in single player and split screen multiplayer racing tracks. And after looking at some of the footage here, it reminds me a lot of Pod Racer back on the day on the Nintendo 64. So that's really exciting because it's a different type of racing than we're used to seeing with something like Mario Kart or, say, Forza. I'm really stoked to see uh, the, how this goes, and I hope it's really, really good. And the fact it's just a mini game inside of Starlink really excites me. And it's free, so I mean, can't really complain about free content you happen to own the game uh also there'll be another piece of content you'll be able to do with it in this area and that is fight waves of ruthless enemies in the crimson coliseum and you can see their rank and stats on different leaderboards so that's really really cool it sounds like there'll be an online leaderboard kind of thing and um a, an all-out battle royale coliseum mode which is just sick in my mind and i can't believe we're getting it so that with the racing is just fantastic uh also this crimson move update actually impacts the whole of Atlas. Um, you essentially is going to add new story missions and there's going to be new weekly challenges. There'll also be five new pilots and three new starships. And then what I mentioned before, there'll be 11 new weapons, but these are going to only be available through digital purchase. So we're talking microtransactions. So leave it to uh, an Ubisoft game to not give us everything for free. But hey, cool. At least the pilots and all that will be able to be obtained within the game, which is better than they did in the past when you used to have to pay for all the pilots and all that stuff. Uh, moving on beyond that is where it gets interesting for us Nintendo fans because they're releasing a Star Fox content update for the game on April 30th as well for $11.99. Uh, in this content update, you'll be able to play as Peppy, Falco, and Slippy, so they will be now playable characters, and you'll be hunting down the Star Wolf team in a series of missions. Now, each of those individual uh, characters will have their own little talent tree and their own unique abilities just like every other pilot in the game and yeah this sounds really really cool they didn't really reveal much you know they showed a little footage in a trailer for it for switch but they didn't really reveal much about it we obviously know much more about the crimson moon update than we know about the one we're paying for but we've also known about this crimson moon update for a while when they initially announced that racing was coming to it also the fact that the star fox content is separate from that Crimson Moon update, kind of makes me think that people that thought, oh, this racing update to Starlink is clearly what the Star Fox racing thing was, 
is obviously incorrect because when they advertise this racing, they're not even showing Star Fox in it. Star Fox can be used, I'm sure, in this racing, but it's not what this thing was built around. It wasn't based on Star Fox. It was something that was going to exist irregardless of the Star Fox crossover. Now, with paid DLC coming, the first paid DLC really for Starlink Battle for Atlas like as a, a DLC pack, and it being Star Fox related and exclusive to Switch tells you a couple things. One, this game clearly sold best on Switch because they're making Switch exclusive paid DLC. They would not be doing that if it didn't sell best on Switch. Two, with this game's failure in sales at the market that's led to them canceling the toys, it makes you think that future Starlink games might be coming exclusively to Switch. And in addition, that it might become a permanent part of the Star Fox universe. To have the first paid DLC be basically Star Fox is awesome and awesome for us Nintendo owners and is going to give people on Switch a reason to pick up Starling Battle for Atlas on the cheap, and maybe that's why this, this DLC is $11.99, to kind of add additional revenue on top of that 50% off or whatever you end up buying Starling for these days. But I do think it's really interesting to see that this is the direction this game is going in, and because of it, I think you might as well call it Star Fox Battle for Atlas or Starlink colon Star Fox, because that's what this is. It is now becoming slowly and slowly more and more a Star Fox game than it is its own standalone space game with a crossover in it. Now, the original crossover was already pretty massive with a bunch of exclusive content for Star Fox, but to see the additional content coming and the huge chunk of it is just Star Fox related content for Switch, yeah, I think this bodes well. This bodes well for the future of Starlink on Switch because I think we will get a Starlink 2. It will not be toys to life, and it will come exclusively to Switch, I think, in the future with a bigger emphasis on the Star Fox stuff. Heck, they might even get, like, a Star Fox Battle for Atlas version at some point that is just Star Fox related. I honestly think that we this just brings us, like, this much closer to Ubisoft making a Star Fox game, whether it is a Star Fox Starlink game or just a Star Fox game in general, because clearly they are doing an excellent job with the Star, Star Fox content and IP. I don't know if you've played Battle for Atlas. It's very underrated. Uh, so I, what's wrong with you? Go play it, especially on the cheap right now. And yes, Star Fox is awesome, and it as is his content. His content is really some of the standout content in Starlink. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm excited about this. What, what can I say? Why do you think I talked about it way more than Mario Maker 2? It also helps they, they dropped the trailer, by the way, which we didn't get for Super Mario Maker 2. I would have liked a new trailer with the release date, but hey, you know what? You can't win everything. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Giveaway through the Green Dot Island link down in the description. Why don't we try to get this video to 200 likes? I know we can do it if we all band together. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe for more content, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.